about some production accessories that you can get for your camera be it for additional height or extension arm Hey yo what's up guys it's me Mr. Gim here and welcome back to my channel Today is unboxing Sunday that means that I'm going to unbox another exciting unboxing for you guys and this time around it's the Endure Z Flex Aluminium Alloy Tube Head It's definitely an accessory for your videography or photography whichever way you like let's get into it so first thing first let's look at the carton box really simple no product image it's just a basic instructions on the front at this side it's just a really small branding at the back there's nothing all right first thing first once we take it out we've seen a very nice pouch and this is a carrying case for the product itself let's open up and check it out so it's kind of surprising that they actually attach a carrying case inside which is a good gesture i guess there's also a thank you card with 20% off and the quick service if anything happened to your product all right let's put the carrying case aside and let's look at the main the hero product so this is it is it something that necessary for your camera or is it not well to me this is actually something very very useful because i do quite a number of top down shot i think this is a good extended arm for me which i can do more top down shot in the future with a better tripod together with this z flip i guess i can get more fantastic shot with this and once you carry up you actually felt that it's quite heavy and it comes with four knobs that you can tighten it whichever angle you want and at the back there is actually four anti-slip mat and this thing is super solid that if let's say you whack someone with this on the head that guy is definitely going to the hospital there's also a bubble level on the top so that you can check whether your plate is balanced so as you can see over here once you tighten it every, everything is quite stable because everything is made out of aluminium and it's really really solid at the cost of $30 I think it's kind of worth it I believe with this you can think of a lot, lot of creative idea of how your angle you can play with so right now I'm just going to take my a Sony A7 to sh show you guys whether how strong this thing can hold up so for DSLR I believe most of the DSLR with standard kit lens or even the zoom lens should be able to hold with a tripod this is purely just on the table so that's why you will see that it's not going to hold its weight to the level and this version is more like the tilting outwards to shoot your subject as you can see it's actually still quite strong it holds at the angle there's no sign of movement so I also check the Z angle whether they are strong enough to hold the A7 apparently it shows that it's able to it's just that you need to connect to the tripod so let me switch things up most of the thing I shoot is through the mobile phone so right now I have my iPhone 7 with a ball head it's mount on the shoulder port handle and I'm going to attach straight to the Z flip as you can see it's the same purpose with the A7 as this phone are much more lighter so we can balance it more it's the arm extension mode if you mount it on the tripod this definitely gives you a slightly close up to a subject so right now I'm going to use my monopod to show you guys some example of how you can use it to attach and also how you can do some creative shooting and before that bottom there is this quarter inch screw and also a 3 8 female screw 
both are installed in this base but right now I'm just going to use the Kodak inch screw as my mono port only comes with that so as you can see from this view this is how it looks like you can make it stand in that Z shape or extend it out like how I do it over here tighten the knots and everything should be quite stable and because I have a ball head with me so I can tilt the ball head to make it a top down shot so the advantage of this is that it avoids the tripod leg and you can straight away see your product with this extension so it's definitely going to help my future shooting I would say or anyone who wants to start a, a YouTube channel with a top down shot I think this is a great budget tools so right now I'm just going to show you my creative shot well don't judge me as this is just a example shot that I have for you guys I think this is something that you can play with and probably over the times that you can generate more creative ideas or you guys have any better idea of how you can use it probably you can comment in the comment section below and we can we can figure it out together huh? alright guys that's the end of the video and as usual I will link everything in the description below you can check it out you can purchase it and make sure you slap a like button subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video okay thanks bye